y'all. Thanks for joining us at The Real MC. With us tonight is my bestie for the restie, okay. Jen Oakley. Tonight we are talking about the most exciting thing that has happened for either one of us in a really long time because we've been working on it for since last October. Mm -hmm. Finally coming to fruition, our luxury high-end hair extension line, The Real MC Hair Extensions. Yes, I'm so excited. I am so excited. Okay, so I'm not over there tying wefts into hair all day long, right? Yes. That is your expertise and your specialty. So Jen is our master educator specialist um, in hand-tied hair extensions, particularly the Real MC. Talk to us a little bit about, I mean, how long have you been doing hair extensions, Jen? Like for a minute? Oh, a minute. Well, let's see, back in the day when Misty and I were gluing wefts <laughs> tracks in each other's hair in school. I think that was about 15 or 16 years ago. 16 years ago? Ooh. Been a minute. And I'm only 26. It's real weird. You're just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. In elementary school, y'all were gluing wefts and gluing tracks. Wefts, yeah. Yes. No, um, a long time. A long time. And that is, I mean, so, I mean, you do all the things, but in terms of most stylists specialize or kind of have a niche and this is yours, right? Absolutely. This is definitely my passion. Um, has been for a really long time just because of, like I said, like what, I mean, you know, your security, like your insecurities growing up. Um, I did not have the best hair growing up. I was not, I did not wake up looking like this. So you were driven <laughs> <Yes>. to the <laughs> hair business because of personal experiences. What I've never actually seen your real hair only in pictures and only recently. I had no idea that was hiding under those, <laughs> under those webs. Oh. I didn't oh. know that was under there. I love you. I and, love you. Hey, my mom has the same kind of hair, but I did not know that it, so your hair literally just kind of just grows. It in. doesn't actually like grow down. It grows out. It's that curly. It is. Yes. Actually, I showed some of the girls um, Monday when I was doing Misty's hair. Misty did my hair, and it looks great, by the way. It does Thank look really good, Misty. I mean, good job. Shout out. Um, so, uh, I, I, anyway, I was showed them some, some of the pictures that I, like, sent to Toby. Okay, we have, we have them. We have some of Jen's pictures. Um, and they were laughing hysterically. They were like, what I is mean, wrong with your parents? I did not know that was hiding under there. And so you've been telling me and been telling me. So as a kid, I mean, you didn't feel pretty. Oh. No, not pretty. Oh, no. I didn't wake up looking like this, like I said. <laughs> is it so weird how those things that, like the, the things, that we all have our insecurities. I mean, hell, we know that. But the things that are there when you're little, oh my God, they're still there when you're 40. Like mm -hmm. I still have the same insecurities. Absolutely. It's always going to be my hair and my weight. I'm never going to lack. I'm never going to be happy with either one. And then, and then eventually it's age. Yeah, and then well, now what? we're old. Yeah. <laughs> New insecurity. But yes, no, mine's always been my hair. It's always stopped me. Um... I was really great at swimming. They um, told my mom, like, wow, she could actually, like, swim competitively, but, like, I do not get my hair wet. It's it's so embarrassing. So um, it has, my hair has crippled me in a sense, but, um, and also, like, it's kind of my life. Like, it's kind of what made you? It's what made me, yeah, I wanted my hair to be long and fabulous, and, like, I wanted to have that hair that you see, like, my daughter. Oh, Commer do you, commercial hair like my sisters have? It's commercial hair. Right? It's like that thick, shiny stuff. looks like a Pantene commercial. B.S. I have this little fine, cottony. And Cody says that it, when <laughs> I, I take it. <laughs> Cody says when I take my extensions out that I look like an alpaca because I just have this little tuft of little blonde. Tuft. Little tuft of little fine, cottony stuff that doesn't fix. It doesn't. It's fly away. It doesn't go anywhere. Every day of my life when I wake up, I look like Simba or like an alpaca because it's, <laughs> it's big and cottony and fine. But the point is mine is so fine and so blonde that it won't grow long. I, I can't get past here. It's just a stringy mop. Yep. So same thing. I have these two sisters with dark, thick, coarse commercial hair. And then I have this blonde, fine, like, what do you do with that? Right. <laughs> oh, I know. They're going to show you all some pictures. And I think, yeah, so Jen um, slightly resembles Napoleon Dynamite. Slightly. I sort of look like an alpaca without her hair. 
but the, the point is that is what drove you to my passion. Your passion. Absolutely. I um, that. I am like 100% like want to give everyone the look that they want as far as like hair goes and all the things. I mean, it is, I get it. That's the deal. I get it. If you don't have the thick hair or you're losing your hair, or just whatever it is, it's like, or your hair is just like, mm -hmm. I'm like, no, no, I get it. And everybody's like, yeah, right. You don't get it. And I'm like, no, but I actually do. Like, here's what I struggle with. Mm -hmm. Here's the reason I'm doing what I'm doing. And uh, it's the only way we're going to have Victoria's Secret hair. The okay. only way that I'm going to. Now, you know, I hide behind my hair a lot. Like, if I don't want to get ready, I'll put glasses on and bigger hair. Like, yeah. my, my yes. hair is the thing I hide behind. And I have had so many conversations. We've talked about this up here, Jen. What started my transformation two years ago was my hair. I got hair extensions. And it has been a, a road but I knew the moment that I got this put into my hair that I was going to do this. I knew that I had to I had to be a part of this because it made me feel so different yes. and so pretty. And it was that thing that I needed in that moment to make me change all the other things. So a good set of hair extensions is not just for celebrities. Nope. It's for everybody. And it's no different than a set of lips or a good tan or 10 pounds. It just makes you feel so pretty and feel so Absolutely. good. It's about the way you feel. And that's like been my driving. So I, I look um, in magazines, which is kind of a thing of the past. I get it. But like on Instagram and like um, I watch ETV. Mm. Uh, ET? Not ETV. I'm so old. Um, but I watch ET and I see like, I see, like I watch, I look at GQ too because my husband is way into that. So, but He's I so see. Good at, Josh, by the way, is like my fashion guru. If I'm not sure about something, I oh, yeah. text Jen, but ask Josh. Ask yeah. Josh. He's the, secretively through me. Yeah. yeah. So can you see, can you fill this out for me? Is this hey, a Josh, good? is this good? Yeah. <laughs> we He's all my do person. That. We all do that. We all do. Um, so anyway, no, but I'm like, why can't we, I want that hair that you see on TV. I want that hair. I want to be able to give that hair to people also. You don't have to just be a hairdresser to like find all the things. In any way, it's real hard. It's hard to like research this and find all, but I made that the thing that I did for the last, uh, I mean, lots of years. Because remember, I'm real young. <laughs> well, and that's the thing is bringing that all together, that passion. And then I'm not even going to lie. I mean, I'm late to the party. You did all the hard stuff, but my God, I, but I know what a difference this makes for people to feel this. And I also know from having the salon, I watch y'all struggle with being able to have access to hair. So it's not easy to get, right? right? And if you can get it, it's not always easy to get the quality that you want. So if you are going to spend this kind of money, on hair by god it better last and it better be really good hair absolutely and the thing is is that here like this is hand tied like not hand tied into will you your explain head. the difference yes people don't get that there's a hand tied method mm, okay fine so you sew in the hair but this is hand tied weft um meaning this is not machine weft this is actually made every weft is made by a human that has three strings I'll go ahead and go that far and like and they like loop that hair around um, this when is, you made me YouTube and see how they do that nightmare I mean somebody's God doing love that. them somebody's doing that not just the person that gave their hair up but the person that made that's their hair the hard on each part. and every weft so that's why it's so hard to come by so I I've done all this research for years and I've like looked into and looked into and then I like hit the holy grail and I'm like so I actually can't do this on my own and I'm like a little kid tugging at Marcy's shirt like Marcy hey like I want to bring this to West Texas we deserve it everybody had to wear it yeah everybody deserves to like look like a million bucks I mean this is not cheap and why not why not? And that's the thing, and that is what I love. And so what Jen and I are trying to do is take the thing that's a really great thing that's hard to get to and then get a better thing and give everybody access so that yes. everybody can have celebrity hair. You don't have to be a celebrity to get this hair. Because I feel like in West Texas, we, you know, in everywhere else, I'm not just saying West Texas, but I mean, we happen to have the hair here in West oh, Texas. Oh, but honey, in West just Texas, so you know. the hair's got to be the biggest <laughs> hair though. Everything got to be bigger. Um, okay. Um, and it's got to last the longest too. Mm -hmm. um, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to be in a big city. You don't have to, like, we are 
we are, um, I don't know, a diamond in the rough out here. That's so what we said. Let's, let's provide the diamond in the rough um, aesthetics place, hair place. Like, let's be the diamond in the rough. You just said it. Everything we talked about, we were talking about on the aesthetic side and all these shifts. Last October, we started all of this. We don't want to just be cutting edge in terms of your plasma technology and your PDO threads. We want to be cutting edge in terms of hair. Our salon is cutting edge, not just the aesthetic side, and that's why they marry so well together. So we're about to have, I mean, you can you can see the difference in quality if you're like. This is a very popular brand and it's great. There's nothing wrong with that this brand. This is a great brand. This is what we had before. It's great. It definitely gets super thin at the bottom. We just opened this package. One second ago. So you lose your weight line, okay? So here's your most popular until us before now brand. So yeah, that's 16 inches. So yes, we understand that shorter, but then look at the weight line at the bottom. The so weight line. all the way to the bottom. So. So what happens is the longer this one gets, the stringier it gets at the bottom. And there's a picture, guys, um, of a couple of blondes where I feel like you can really see that difference in the hair at the bottom of the weight line. It's just a before and after picture of some really hot blondes. And they're both, this is six wefts and this is six wefts. So one is 22 six. inches and one 16. It just, even at 16 inches, you don't need to, we don't need to, I mean, if we were to have the 22 out here, I mean, it's not, the, the hair is great hair. I am not it's fabulous. shaming this hair. And we played with this it. This hair is Russian. That's the thing. That's the whole, it's the I don't Russian know if I was thing. allowed to say that yet, but It's Russian it. hair. It's different. It's not the same hair. And I will tell you for me what the differences are. So Jen and I did a blind study. I didn't want to know what I had in my hair. So if everybody thinks I'm crazy for getting three full new heads of hair extensions in like five months, four months, we did it for a reason. You have to wear and know and style and hands down. I cannot tell you the difference in blow dry time, manageability, frizziness, and my weight line at the bottom. I feel like I have not just hair in the middle, right. like you, you see, it's like flat hair, nothing. This is all the hair. Mm -hmm. And I've never had bigger, fluffier hair that dries faster until we got the Russian hair in. That's why it's such a thing. That's well, why celebrities are talking about it everywhere. And I don't know if we're, when do we talk about the other? The cut, what are we talking about? Right, right now. Oh. <laughs> right now. Well, her birthday hair. Yeah. That big old. That ponytail. That Russian ponytail. I would love to show her her ponytail that made all the oh. headlines. My husband. Could talk about. My husband is the one who told me. He's like, do you know about the Russian 30-inch ponytail that Kylie Jenner got on her birthday that was eight? thousand dollars so if you look at that we are talking about eight more inches than what this is that is all she had in her hair is this with eight more inches so this is your standard 22 inch russian hair and you can even see mm -hmm. that it doesn't move like doll hair it moves thanks for that brooke that's exactly what the other extensions feel like doll hair um and i'm not saying that i didn't mean that I mean, comparatively speaking, again, I'm not going to know the difference until I had the difference, but it was, it was kind of instant. Ah, it is. It feels like mine or what mine, what mine would feel like if I had good natural hair um, versus that more of a synthetic, more of a plasticky doll hair feel. Oh. And that's the biggest thing for me. And again, blow dry time because time is money, honey. And this blow dries so fast. Yep. So for mine, you. Mine doesn't. No. <laughs> I've got to like work with mine because of my hair. Have they shown my pictures yet? I do, yeah. I'm sure the world knows now. They wow. see. They've seen me. They've seen I think I had aqua eyeliner, eighties eyeliner. And I even had the in my picture I even had like the little wall and like the I mean perm. that was a thing. Remember you had to spray the mm -hmm. thing and hold it out? Mm hmm Oh yes. Yeah, oh yeah. We've come a long way. We have we? I mean I'm a little thinking bit. about bringing it back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But the Russian hair so Kylie Jenner for her birthday, debuts this big ponytail, and it was kind of crazy timing for us because we're sitting on this like, oh, we've got the Russian hair, and then she makes a big debut with her ponytail, so it was kind of like, thank you, girl. Yeah. Good timing. Eight grand. Eight grand for a ponytail. Good job, Violet. I mean, and again, you don't have to be a celebrity to get the good stuff, It's and that's what we're bringing to West Texas, and ac accessibility is the thing that consumers don't realize is a problem for stylists. We have to order this stuff, we have to color match, and so having that hub right here in yep. West Texas for stylists, that, that's This is huge. what this is about. 
it's yes we're getting the hair it's not so that you come and use all of our stylists because I mean there we're only so many people the, our stylists are so busy not to say that you shouldn't reach out to them not to say that you shouldn't because they are master yes, come on like they are master stylists I will say um, that every single stylist that I work with I'm like I'm not coloring I, I did Haley's extensions the other day I'm like I'm not coloring her hair I am too intimidated by that she said what? you're so awesome at coloring hair and I thought my mama I got to call my mom hold on can you say that again girl make sure she heard you like make sure my mama heard you because I don't I mean I'm, these girls you respect here her. and Oyuki and Breezy and Paige and Victoria obviously I think she's awesome. Wendy, Kate, Master Wendy. Nail. Art. Everybody, platform artists. Everybody who works, that's what I was just about to say. Everybody who works at BRL is a platform Misty. artist, a specialist. <laughs> I mean, okay. And if they're and if they're not teaching it, they're the expert in it and they're not teaching it because they just don't have time. And that's what we are trying to make ourselves the hub for education, not just yeah. Consumers, but for other stylists. And then, of course, our wholesale hairline. We're trying to be that hub in West Texas. And that's edge. the deal. Like, like I'm I'm definitely, like, I'm, I'm hurt. My, I can't. I, I have. We're transitioning. Jen is, Jen is the face of the Real MC luxury hairline because you have that 20 years that have gone into this to maintain it. Jen's going to be quality control. She's going to be the person that we go to if we need something, we don't have it, something. She's the face of the real, the ambassador, the educator, and the expert. Yes, and and the thing is, is that like, I can't, I only have so many hours. There's not a day eight. I have clients that are like, well, can't you get me in? Well, I don't mind if, and I'm like, I, there's only so many hours in a day. And I'm, I know that the other stylists that I work with feel the same way. I know a lot of people, like a lot of stylists here in West Texas feel the same way, however, Imagine that you could just do a consult same day, and this is what I want and you want. So this is what I'm like, Marcy, I can definitely like stand there and like be the, I'll, I'll go get hair, what, what color you need? Like, you know what I mean? Like, give me five minutes. If a stylist like, give me five minutes, I'm gonna drive over or whatever. And then, hey, Jen, I need this hair. Okay, you I'll have it ready. You can get it same day. You've Absolutely. Got a client in your chair, she decided Not now. me have the client, no. not me. So here's what we're trying to do. Because in any industry, you've got competition. I feel like that's something that you're going to deal with if you're successful in any niche yep. that you do, right? I mean, we've got some successful stylists over here. We're Man. trying to take that competition out of the game and be the wholesale, be the resource for stylists out in West Texas. Yes. Come to us if you have questions about how to put these in or need to take a class. Come to us if you need extensions the same day and your client decided she really doesn't want black, now she wants platinum. And you can still do that same day. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to do. Maybe not this black is platinum, for, though. Well, I mean, I'm talking about extensions. She can have some real to, serious ombre. We gotta talk know. to Haley and Oyuki <laughs> and Misty about that. They'll give you some science on all that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, though. Right, right. Somebody changes their mind. You don't have what they need anymore. We are that hub. You can come here in five minutes and get what you Immediate need. Immediate access. That's and that's the what, thing. That's what it is. And um, the thing is, is that don't fly however far away and then don't and then have zero access and like have a class. Like we'll do that. Right we here. have like it's so. And I keep talking about West Texas, but I do feel that I'm super, super blessed. I feel like you do. Oh, I'm blessed. But I really feel like. The reason that hairstylists and and the rest of us out here have mastered not mastered I never want to say that anybody's mastered anything because you got to you you want to keep learning I want to keep learning um, but the reason that we're so fortunate is because I mean it's an oil field I mean, so our clients can afford every single day so what if you could give them that every single day like you I feel like you need that access all the time. Well, I feel like y'all's hands are always tied. And so just looking at it over here as salon owner, like that's frustrating to me because whenever I need to do a set of lips or some Botox, I just got to get in my little freezer, got to get in my little cabinet and I've always got it. It's always mm -hmm. there. I cannot imagine having to punt that or schedule that out to the ordering and that it, I can't imagine that. This should take so much out of it. Yep. It should take so much of the hard stuff out. And the clientele here, deserves it they know and that's the thing i am so tired of because we're in west texas we don't have cutting edge that's why we're the no, place because we're in west texas we should have because we 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 have 
the financial capability Absolutely. to have cutting edge, and that's what we're trying to do we're here. We're LA and New York, sorry. We are. Now we've got, we have the plasma technology, we have the PDO threads, and now we have the no, Russian not hair. Not me, LA and New York. I'm talking about the people that live here. And now we have the Russian hair to yes. go with that. Why, should it, why shouldn't we have the Russian hair? Why shouldn't we have all the cutting edge stuff? That's right. what this is about. Yes. Making it to where we're not getting things 10 years later out here, we're getting it on the front end before everybody else got it. Right. And for not $8,000 for a ponytail. Yeah. It's, I mean, priced with, I'm going to get in trouble for messing this hair up. She she smooth me, it. She's making me sweat. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Um, <laughs> it, is, it is your hair. <laughs> but I do think that that's the thing. I think that, it, and also, I think people, when we start talking about this big hair, or people see my three feet of blonde hair, they think that that's not attainable. This is not celebrity pricing. This is priced the same as this it, is priced. Oh, yeah. It's no massively difference. competitive. We are competitive with plastic. <laughs> That's my lip flip. Welcome to my life. <laughs> I swear, y'all, I can't talk. Since my last lip flip, I did something different. We may not do that next time. I practice on myself. No, it's fun to talk to you and JC whenever y'all. <gasps> I was trying to talk to production. It makes earlier, me sound smart. And like, it really is. Your lip so, so, so it makes me sound smart. It's what I've been doing for a week. <laughs> what else we got, baby? Oh, I do want to talk a little bit more about. Um, when we talk about doing something that makes you feel good about yourself or I feel like I wanted you on the podcast honestly to talk about because we get we get a lot of feedback about Jen your clothes what you're doing how do you look again we're talking about the way you look your hair and you know you do you get it you do the videos and um, what does that look like is it easy to look like Jen like what is what's a day in the life no. for Jen what, what time do you wake up 339 Three thirty nine in the morning. Who do you text at about four thirty? Sorry. No, me, because you know I'm up. Because we <laughs> because because we're up. Because we're either working on business things, yes. because we're psychopaths who are workaholics and have children and have to get all of that done before our children wake up. Yes. Um, and then we also have to get a workout done before they ever wake up. Absolutely. So it's not just the hair extensions, but you're getting up at four o'clock in the morning. You're working all day long, busy schedule, phone, juggling babysitters. You were stressed out the other day. You didn't have somebody like that client runs late and pick up the kid. Like it's, we're, we're all living the same and then my life. My koi fish almost died today. Sorry, that's why I sped out of here Didn't earlier. you have to go to like a pet farm for like special pet fish? Or something. Uh, like so a they're, a fish they doctor? now live I didn't know there next was a fish to Rock and Rodeo at the Hibachi place today. As of today, it was. Is today. this a pet farm? Where do we take them? I, well, I called this <laughs> Hibachi place and asked them if they have a koi pond. I don't know. Victoria told me about it, so that's where they live now. Their name is Slurpee and Burpee, but but Sarai named them Jen and Julia. So <laughs> they're like the smallest koi fish with these great anyway. Why did you have to take them? <laughs> My <laughs> pump. I, I'm telling you, like somebody. My neighbors tried to help us, and they were so awesome. Last night, he's wearing a headlamp. He had to splice some stuff, and anyway, it didn't work. Like, it worked, but there was already a crack, and water came out. When my neighbor, so sweet, walked over and, like, went to check in the middle of the day, and they were, like, swimming in, like, this much water. And I was like, oh, my gosh. So, so said I and I had lives. to go. And we're, like, calling people and trying to make it so stupid because they're fish but I don't want to kill anything I'm not like you through a scope you know I know I know but I'll eat fish I just don't want to kill them <laughs> not koi. we won't eat your koi fish no I just heard about the fish emergency so we couldn't find Jen earlier for two hours and she was taking her koi fish to be rescued I didn't know the details I haven't seen her since <laughs> so they're they're safe I think so everybody's good or their dinner for some other big huge koi fish i was gonna ask you if you had a cat but i didn't think that would be good on camera that's not funny too soon okay um <laughs> too soon <laughs> whenever you're dove <laughs> jen had a mama dove that was crying one Aww. time for her babies and it was so sad and i had a little i cannot believe you're bringing this up i had a little wine and i was like well i'll take care of her september 1st <laughs> give me a minute <laughs> Jim was like, this is not a joke. Oh, sorry. So I'm learning to be sensitive. So we're kind of your... opposite. Mm -hmm. It's fine. It works. I'm learning to be sensitive to your animal yeah. saving. Yeah. So, but yes, I wake up early, and you wake up early. And it's a thing, and it takes the hair. So back again to the maintenance crap. I mean, my if you had one thing that you would not give up, 
what would that be for you? What is your like one? Like in the morning? I mean, or your just one in thing. Life? Like, no, you have to work out and you have to eat, right? People have to do all that. But yeah. your one thing that you do that's extra, your nails, your lashes, your hair, what is your one thing that you could Does, not give Is Botox give up? in this and like filler? No, we're not counting that because I just consider that like okay. brushing your teeth. No hair. That's like routine maintenance. Yeah. Your yeah. husband should give you that because it's like brushing your teeth. Yeah, my hair. Your no, hair? I can give up my nails. Okay, here is I'll what... I'll put some Lee press-ons. Mm -hmm. Or figure it out. but Or paint them. But this fixes a lot. It's like... It's a silhouette of a woman. It creates this... The I sexy know. woman and it slims you down. I don't know if y'all know that, but... Everybody's always like, wow, it totally transforms people. Like, it looks like they lost so much weight. I'm like, that's because it's long and, and it hangs. It's, it's like, that you video look slender. Of that you did of me, have we, do we have a video of um, my actual hair? And so if you'll look at this video, this is a video that Jen did. Um, this is what I look like from behind with my real sad, it's just cotton ball, fine, wispy hair. And then you see my hair swinging, the big blonde. And when I look at that, I think that's Marcy Crossland, that big blonde hair, not that sad little wimpy, what, I don't even know what that is. Can't even put it in a ponytail. It's like a little rat, little- But you were working it. A little rat ponytail. You were like, getting mm, it. Getting yeah. it, I know. But it's it's not, that's not how I want to look. No. So for me, and yeah. I, have, I have stopped midday and sat on this couch and said, over, over anything else, like someone asked me, one of our, mutual clients ask me like would you is it your hair worth it would you do it again how do you feel about it and I had to sit down I'm like if I gave up everything else and again not Botox and fillers that doesn't count because that's routine maintenance but if I gave up everything else I do my nails my hair my lashes whatever my clothes my stuff my hair it'd be the don't take my hair because I hide behind it when I don't feel cute I put a giant ponytail up on yep. my head and I just feel cuter because I have all this hair when it's so funny because I i like will hide under a cap. I'll like call and make sure, like one time I was getting my hair extensions from a hairdresser and um, who's fabulous. Um, and I was like, and her kid got strep that morning and I'm like, OMG, like I've already taken out my hair. <laughs> Can't do I've this. never made that mistake again. Cause I'm, I like double check with, you know, Victoria or Misty or, you know, whoever. And I'm like, are uh, oh, Yuki, I'm like, are we sure? And I, I like, come in with a ball cap on. Well, so I'm like, well, I'm the only weirdo that's like that, except for I did Haley's hair on Friday and then I did Misty's hair on Monday. And on and I'm pretty sure I text both of them like, yeah, I'll just take it out the night before and like psh, wash it and we'll, or that morning even. And Haley came in with her hair and we still had to wash her hair and like, and I get it. And then Misty came in with her hair and we had to take them out and wash it. And I'm like, no, here's the deal. I get it. You almost like, I have a hairdresser who wears extensions I mean, these stylists up here, like, uh, uh nobody can't see me without my weave. Well, and what, well, I mean, it, I'm telling you, my hair has become me, and that's why we have to do this, because I, I can't ever go without these, yeah. because I don't like the way I look or feel so without like, them. So, like, this is what we want to do. This we want to give this to everyone. Everybody so needs not to feel that client, way. But every stylist. Quit going online and being like, they're sold out, they're sold out. We're not going to be sold out here. Or not knowing the quality. Get the Russian hair that's got the heavyweight line. Make and, yourself look like a rock star. And in. Because you are. You are. Well, and You are said rock star. That's okay. That one guy said it a hundred times. It was just a little much. Um, but that, like, whenever you get that in a stylist head, that I would love your feedback. What are they saying? Because we're hearing it. So what are the stylists saying in BRL that are wearing, using the hair? Oh, All yeah. All the feedback is like, hands down. The weight line. So we talk about Slavic shifts. hair. Slavic hair. We talk about shifts. This is the shift in our salon right now. This is the cutting edge shift. This is what we're bringing next. It's in the salon. Mm -hmm. We are doing a massive giveaway. Y'all got to share, get your friends to watch, tell all your stylist friends. And remember, we want we want stylists coming to us, asking us tag questions. Tag your stylists. Yes, tag your stylist. And if your stylist doesn't, and I'm so faithful to my stylist. Here's the deal, tag your stylist, tell your stylist. We like, want to cater we're gonna to offer you. Class. We, we want to offer a class. Oh, my stylist doesn't do extensions. She wants to do it, like blah, 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 whatever. I mean, we're just up the road if you live here in West Texas. So, like, I mean, and, and this, the girls that I'm kind of, you know, not the greatest at explaining myself, but like, the girls that we work with up here are awesome at teaching, awesome at explaining themselves, and we will get together and teach, like, we're gonna get together and teach classes. Um, we'll Misty, do big is a, classes. Misty is an educator. Mm -hmm. 
oh, Yuki is an educator. Victoria is an educator. Um, Haley is an educator. So all of us um, yeah. wouldn't be the, the ambassador if you weren't. That's yep. what come learn from the experts. But I really do want to take that competitiveness out of it and make yes. sure that the stylists understand this is for y'all. This is for West Texas, for the clients, for the stylists, for everybody. And we want to be the hub to where everybody can come to us and learn and get and test and try and feel the difference for yourself. Come check it out. Yep, absolutely. And come pluck your color off the wall and then go back to your your hairdresser and run on down the road five minutes and your install. client and, mm -hmm, and make the money that day give your client what they want that day that's access access to the luxury high-end instant gratification because the clientele down here down here in West Texas that's over here I mean Jen, if I have an appointment, I do have an appointment with you tomorrow. You do. <laughs> actually. So we'll do some video stuff tomorrow, but I have an appointment with you tomorrow. What happens if I show up for my new hair installation tomorrow that I've had scheduled for five weeks and I can't, you don't have the hair? You probably Or it be, didn't get delivered. Or it didn't show up. at me. I'm going to be frustrated because now I'm going to have to juggle kids. I'm going to have to juggle my schedule and I'm going to You took the whole day off mm -hmm. and... And this is what happens, and we know it does. And so we're trying to fix that. We're trying to fix that problem. Yeah. So we're doing. I don't a want giveaway. you to track down the UPS and the FedEx man anymore. I mean, can I tell y'all, as a salon owner, how many times I have personally been side rider and like, uh, I mean, shotgun to somebody riding out by the airport to FedEx or to to look for hair because it's supposed to be delivered yesterday, but it was a day delayed or something happened with weather. I have ridden out there multiple times. No more. Nope no more so our giveaway Jen the deets I'll let you talk about it a little bit talk about our giveaway okay so we so as long as the podcast um this podcast not podcast this uh, one only this one only this one about the hair um reaches a thousand views um the minute it reaches a thousand views get your mama get your daddy whoever um to turn their phones on and watch it because once it hits a thousand views you can watch for it tomorrow the second we don't care when it hits she'll be in my chair tomorrow so the minute it happens it doesn't matter what if i'm looking like this then that's fine we'll get on and announce i'll be like put your hoop put your hoochie hoops in we're announcing the winner done so and um hannah is going to start I, i'm sure she's already started like making the tally mm -hmm. for the and um, she'll do that she'll for the drawing generator system i don't mm -hmm. know we have a system in place we'll talk about that a little bit more tomorrow because there's like quite a few um, entries, which I'm excited about. So you can win hair or lips, or and, hair and. Yeah, I mean, I guess the same person could win both, but. Yeah, but, but we'll do two separate, separate drawings. So also for the stylist, like um, if you wanted to use the hair, like if the stylist wins, if you want to use the hair on a client, I mean. And make that money. Make that money. So it's like a gift twice. It doesn't have to be somebody from here. Mm -hmm. It can be. A stylist who wants to use the hair to install into one of their clients. It can be a client who wants to bring it in and have an installation done to us or to your hairdresser. It can be to anybody. And then, of course, the lips will do right here. Mm -hmm. And nobody hates lips. I mean, you don't so, want me to do your lips, but, you know. Well, no. You don't <laughs> want me to do your hair either. <laughs> yeah. But. Jen, I'm super excited. This is... Um, this is the reason this is I feel like this is the reason we came together and the thing we were supposed to do so I'm super excited West Texas needs this and I'm yeah so and, and they deserve part it. Of it and thank you for bringing it in and 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 doing all the things thanks and for I'm, having all the smarts yeah, well thanks for having all the smarts and the other stuff you know <laughs> well cheers we will announce the winner of both giveaways um, so again two separate giveaways Make sure that you tune in. Make sure you tell your sister, your mama, your best friend. Find us on all of our social media platforms, Instagram. Um, we will, the BRL page is going to be hopping. We have a lot of things happening on there. And we're also going to transition the name. So we're going to take the name of BRL um, off, and it's going to become the, well, not we. I mean her. I just work for her. So. Um, it's, it's all we up here. It's a, yeah. a family ordeal, but we are. We'll take, we'll transition it into more of, more of an educator specialist page. And so you can kind of see more of the techniques and the way these girls are doing these things. And again, we want to start catering to the stylist too, not just to the client. So 
That's yep. what you'll see change about our page. It's also where you can order hair. It's and on the page. you can order the hair, DM us. Um, we will take care of you in-house. You can always stop by. Of course, we'll have color swatches and all kinds of things where you can come and see, see yep. what you need. For sure. Coming soon. Thank you for joining us. Thank see you, you. next week.